Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be a highlight between Team Ash and Team OG. OG is going to be fielding Tempest in the bottom left-hand corner as the that color Terran. Peach? Peach color Terran. I always have trouble with these particular colors because I'm just not like... There's got to be somewhere out in the world where there's a profession where you name colors. And really, Brood War should hire that person, I think. We should get that person in the Brood War community so they can be like that color. That color. The other the other part of me is I just think that people just name colors whatever the hell they want, right? We're like, you know what this is? This is Bivillac yellow. And then it's not even yellow, right? Well, it's kind of yellow. Somewhere in between there. Anyway, bottom left hand corner, starting as the Terran bottom right hand corner, we have Ash, Art of Turtle. This is primarily a BSL highlight. To highlight Art of Turtle, because he's going to be going to Chobu League again, I assume. I'm hoping Tempest joins him. This is from the Clan League, though. OG is an old-school Clan League. Ooh, SCV. Building that supply depot in that back corner, by the way. I will always like it when it's, like, lining the mineral lines like this to block the ability to go behind that mineral portion. But anyway, Team OG, I believe, is Chilean players. Tempest ended up beating a top player in NAS. He's around 1,800... Uh, he beat Nublish, I believe, in TVP. And he is about 1800, level Terran, Art of Turtle. Bottom right corner, we saw him. I honestly, what, he was in the same bracket as Agistol, who ended up going all the way to the finals. I was honestly expecting Art of Turtle to come out of that group because I think he is a pretty decent Zerg player. He was playing, he's obviously in BWCL playing for Team Ash. Check out BWCL. It's kind of, a, I mean, there's been 52 seasons of BWCL. It's been going on for absolutely forever. This is on Shakura's Plateau, by the way. Overlord is scouting towards Tempest space. We do have a barracks being built, so nothing too crazy right here. And before I get too far into this, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Navi for no other reason than I think Navi is an awesome person. That's really all that is. I think Navi's an awesome person. I think all of YouTube and the very few viewers on stream, one of whom may be Navi, should just know that. Someone I appreciate. And I've got the mic, so you guys gotta listen to me. It's nice to be able to do these in-between casts, in-between uh, BSL, where I don't feel like there's any sort of anything official, so I can be a little bit more off the cuff with it. Anyway. One racks into Command Center right underneath this Overlord. This Overlord actually a little bit at risk where this Marine might be able to slide underneath. There might be a second Marine to join it. Is it going to be able to get to the safe haven of that ridge? SCV is making its way back. Is going to be able to see what looks like a... I believe this is a 12th hatch. Yeah, definitely a 12th hatch. And this is going into 3 hatch play. Overlord sneaks out. 77 health down, but should be able to reposition over this wall. SCV has gotten into the main. Six lings being... Or, sorry, just four lings being produced. Saw the three eggs and got excited. No, just two lings being produced off on that one as well. Extractor is coming online. Usually I feel like two lings is enough to force your opponent to use APM, but oftentimes not enough at this sort of level to actually get an SCV kill unless you're really, really focused and dedicated. I like this nice little kind of corner wall here from Tempest. He's got three Marines down below, that Supply Depot, and this Command Center to create a little bit of a blockade. That SCV, kind of critical to make sure he keeps an eye on the amount of Zerglings being produced. Artichal actually doing a pretty good job of getting some baseline damage on that SCV. Here's the thing with early three hatch play though, it looks like a pair of Zerglings being produced out here, so it's gonna go up to full six. The SCV wants to keep an eye on that Zergling count, looks like he is gonna be able to see Lair being built. But yeah, you critically wanna to try to keep that alive because it is possible in the mid game you end up with those big Ling floods, that, which we saw Agistol actually in BSL execute to take, a, honestly take down a huge number of Terrans, finally taking out that SCV scout just as that third hatchery is coming online. Two barracks down, and a refinery being built. Natural expansion is up, bunker being placed wisely from for Tempest. He wants to make sure that... So this is enough to fend off six Zerglings, but when you have that bunker, it's kind of that extra layer of security just in case there is that Ling Flood in the mid game. And we do see a second extractor being plopped down, which suggests we're going towards Mutalisk play. It's kind of interesting because I feel like the meta for a bit was go ahead and take a third where there's an additional gas and make a rush towards Hive Tech. Terran... I think the Terran response to that was, I'm just going to go ahead and rush that third base, and now it's kind of faltered back to what almost feels like 2008 level play of going for three hatch muta. The constant. Zergling speed being upgraded, so it is possible we're going to see... Then that makes those lings e easier to catch things out in the field, also makes them a little bit more mobile. You can back them off a little bit faster. 
We do see that spire being built somewhere. Where's that spire? Well hidden if I can't find it. There it is, that upper corner. With that positioning, I don't see an academy just yet. So there's the academy. We'll see on the commsat whether that commsat catches that spire because with the scan at the main where, or the natural expansion where you typically see it, oftentimes that is where you'll catch the next tech. Looks like Arctic Turtle moving out a drone perhaps to go ahead and take an expansion after this spire. But with this spire at this location, it might actually catch Tempest a little bit off guard. I'm going to go ahead and switch. I'll try to keep an eye as to when these commsat stations are finished so I can go ahead and switch that so we can see vision. Zergling's testing that perimeter, finding that bunker. None of them die. One of them very low on health. Nice little bit of micro there on Arter Turtle's part. He's moving and he's going to go ahead and take that expansion in the upper right hand corner. Which I like with the spire tech to follow. Let's go ahead and drop vision here. I like with the spire tech to follow specifically because... Oh, does he catch it? He does catch it. So he catches the Spire there. It was close, though. Oops. Wrong person. There we go. Does see the tech coming, so he knows he needs to get a handful of turrets down. And should have pretty good timing on that. He does have that Engineering Bay upgrading to level 1 weapons. He does have Stim along the way. And is, yeah, starting to plop down those turrets. Full 9 Mutalisks, which is a big dedication to this early game harass. And this is what I was going to say and got a little bit disrupted from, is I like having this expansion in the upper right-hand corner because the Medic Marine Force has to travel such a wide distance. Ooh, a cancellation in the mineral line on one of the turrets. It's going to delay a little bit. I don't think it's going to affect anything too negatively, though. But that means those Mutalisks, if Art of Turtle keeps them alive, are going to be even stronger. Tempest actually backing off his Medic Marines towards the Barrack line while he's waiting for that additional turret to get up, so he's a little bit off-timing as far as when the Mutalisks would be in place. And a little bit concerned that they would be able to dive in on top of his barracks. They are now in free flight. Looks like an additional Mutalisk being produced. And Lurker Tech being upgraded. Still two un... I like that from Arter Turley. He has the two creep colonies on front just in case, but isn't expending the resources, which is going to allow him to get a drone or two up. Otherwise, two additional turrets. This is a big investment on tur of turrets for Tempest, which shows you just how much he respects Art of Turtle's Mutalisk. And nice pickup. That's going to slow down that factory being built. He's getting a good look at the tech. Still no range upgrade, critically. Which is going to make it even harder to fend these Mutalisks off. And as a result, they're going to feast on these SCVs. Completely clearing out the main. And actually getting a decent amount of damage done on that engineering bay. Regrouping. This is a lot of Marines that have pinned them into the corner. And they're going to have to fly over a lot of enemy territory. One down. Only nine left remaining. And this is four turrets greeting them here at the natural. And another Mulus being taken down. Is they're going to be... Nope. Okay, they are able to peek out at this stage. Upper right hand base is up, but not yet mining. There are drones being transferred to that location. More Mulusks to provide some additional support. A decent harass there, though. Slowed down that factory. Kept Tempest back. That's allowing this drone transfer to be... Unmolested. Sunken Colonies being plopped down. That is going to be three, comparatively. Those Zerglings are going to get wiped out on that front door. These Mutalists are heavily damaged, and this is a lot of Medic Marines. So we'll see if he can pull off from this. I do think this was scanned from Tempest. We heard the commsat ring, I'm not, and he is heading directly to that upper right -hand corner. This is typical base that player has taken. Now that those Mutalists just showing themselves, trying to slow this down while defensives get in place. If these Lurkers can spawn and get on top of that ramp, that makes it very, very difficult to breach, particularly relying on commsat alone, and that will be a secure third base for Arter Turtle. Mutalisks engaging, one of them getting taken out, but again, splitting that Medic Marine Force. Zerglings blocking the way. That Lurker is about two-thirds finished. The Zerglings diving down just to buy a little bit more time and getting wiped out otherwise. Scan, the Lurker does spawn. One of them's going to be able to burrow on the ramp. It needs You need two Lurkers to really do the damage you want to do. Mutalisks engaging to again buy that little bit of time. Unfortunately, Arter Turtle, Arter Turtle exposing those Mutalisks loses several which is more or less going to eliminate that Mutalisk threat in the air. I don't think he wants to continue to dedicate with an Air Force. Level 1 weapons is online, by the way. More Medic Marines alongside. Interestingly enough, it looks like we're seeing kind of a tech switch. A little bit... Maybe. Just three barracks, and no additional barracks have been placed for Tempest. He hasn't secured his third either. Going light with the three barracks at this stage. and Maybe doing that to get a little bit of an early... A little bit of an earlier science vessel, a couple of Zerglings catching the Marines on the front door with those Mulos getting a few kills while they are segregated from their medics. Science vessel is on the way. 
which will help obviously against those lurkers irradiate also upgrading which honestly i'm not sure that irradiate like irradiate's good to get generally but he might have been able to wait on that overlord getting caught out in the field just because mutalisks are no longer out in the air it's an amazing spell to have but i feel like between that and getting a couple more barracks down or even securing a third or something along those lines as resource investment maybe maybe would have been better uh, to do that in that line. This is a very nice front door seal from Art of Turtle, and he is going into his namesake, turtling up, and starting to power his economy. Is actually sitting at 36 drones, comparative to Tempest. Going up to that Ultralisk upgrade, a couple Zerglings ex being expended. More Mutalists moving across. This is, ooh, a little bit of a mistake there from Art of Turtle. I think he was not, I don't think he was expecting that Medic Marine Force to be reinforcing this far forward. As a result, ends up losing his last few Mutalisks. Ultralisk Cavern on the way. Additional hatcheries being plopped down so he can use that macro. And he's also got that Defiler Mound. So this is more the typical previous tier meta. And I do feel like he has successfully transitioned into this. He's got these bases. They're sealed up. Now he needs to weather the storm until he gets one Defilers out and Dark Swarm on that front door. And also, with that three gas, has sufficient resources to really be able to utilize this Ultralisk Cavern and make it work for him. But here's the thing. He's not, he's lost Zerglings, mostly minerals. When you're talking about Ultralisk Caverns and kind of this tier tech, really what you need to be focusing on is, is your gas expenditure. So I think he's happy to lose those Zerglings. Speaking of which, he's getting that melee attack. He's about to finish the Carapace upgrade. Lurker needs to burrow up here. This base might be at risk. This is a sizable medic marine force. It does have that science vessel overhead. Single pair of Scourge might be able to solve this problem if they're caught out of position. The Zergling does see it. Tempest being a little bit indecisive, moving that direction and backing off once it's spotted. Now finally getting that fourth barracks. And I don't see another engineering bay either. Is actually dropping down another starport to really build a large science vessel count here in the mid game. Which he's going to need to deal with those ultralisks that are going to be coming online in not too long. I believe he has scanned that off. The plating is almost done. Always never, I'm like, Chitinius? Chitinius? Chitinius sounds better. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Maybe you... <laughs> I'll let people comment on how they think it's it's pronounced. Adrenal glands also upgrading lurkers here. This is more lurkers. This is a good amount of lurkers to deal with this. There is an irradiate on one of them, so one of them is going to get taken out. Art of Turtle feeling comfortable enough with his Ultralisk Cavern up and what he's going to be able to produce out of it. He's going to go ahead and take that natural expansion, particularly with his Medic Marine Force, down to the south. He is up a good amount of supply, which means he is at an advantage, pushing this Medic Marine Force back away from his main. Another Medic Marine Force is staging down below. And right now, our Tempest is in a lot of trouble. He's a dropship, which he might be able to sneak through. So I guess that explains this. So he's going drop. Interesting. So wants to try to break this over the Lurker lines by going drop in between. But I think it might be too little too late. Lurker's dropping at the exact right time to go ahead and obliterate that Medic Marine Force as it's in retreat. Defiler gets irradiated, but not before this Medic Marine Force gets surrounded and eviscerated. Looks like only a handful are able to sneak out. But critically, those gas expensive medics were picked off and i'm a little bit worried we'll try to keep an eye on this southern border as some medic marines fire bats etc no no medics actually in this group it is sorry one medic i think no that's not medic that's a marine fire bats and marines being grouped up one medic one medic in this grouping might be spotted by this force looks like it's not spotted so the rest of that attack force being brushed up there are lurkers here there is a defiler and they're Ultralisks actually to the north. So this is an unfortunate drop location to go to. And here's the thing. He might be able to get the drop down. He might be able to clear out some drones. There is a Nidus there to help cope with it. But he is bleeding a lot of troops here on the front door. He still has an established third. Has actually gotten spider mines out to try to cope with this otherwise. Art of Turtle lost an Overlord. That's putting him in the red. He's gathering up a large attack force that's bearing down just as this is dropping. So might be distracted. Could turn into a desperate situation. There is that bunker there. No SCVs providing support. Dropped, but there are Ultralisks right there to engage this. Fire Bats working into that drone line. Able to get a handful of kills. Looks like three. And I think that might be all the kills he got. And Tempest going to call it there. Because not able to establish a third. Plus, you've got all these Ultralisks and Lurkers diving into the natural expansion. Got him. Chat has voted that it is... Kaitanus. Kaitanus? Kaitanus. Kaitanus. Upgrade. So again, additional shout out to Navi. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Fortunately, it's got to be just one because i got to run and pick up my daughter here in a moment. But thanks for listening.